Back in June of this year, I made a video talking about a fantastic animated series I saw, Final Space. By the time I saw the series and made the video, the series was already cancelled by Warner Brothers at that point. However, my goal in making the video was to express my support for a cancelled series, in the hopes that I could inspire at least one other person to go to check it out. I even recommended seeing it on HBO Max as a way of supporting it through official means rather than through piracy. This is no longer possible. In late September, it was revealed that Warner Brothers is now using Final Space as a tax write-off. This is pretty significant, as it essentially is the final nail in the coffin for a piece of media. Once written off, it essentially needs to be removed from any and all platforms. HBO Max took it down, Netflix is letting it go internationally, no more physical copies of season 1 and 2 will be produced, and season 3 will never be produced in physical media at this point. Even episodes that people paid for on Amazon are being deleted from individuals' libraries. As Olin Rogers put it, at this point, your memory would be the only proof of the show's existence. I find this thing to be truly horrible. At the end of the day, it may just be business and numbers to companies like Warner Brothers and Discovery, but seeing this amongst the pile of other creative decisions on their end, like the cancellation of Batgirl and the Batman Cape Crusader series, as well as the Amazing World of Gumball movie being pulled from their schedule, now forcing them to look around for other outlets to host their content. Or heck, just look at the recent HBO Max purge of general series. Now, perhaps I can't speak for the business side of things, but I certainly feel for the creators, since it really shows how a project they're passionate about becomes the plaything of faceless corporations. That's not to say all content is good content or deserves to continue just because it has passion behind it, but what I think it does display is the transition of what is a creative endeavor into a product. One is driven by an individual, and the other is a commodity belonging to a company. And it's unfortunate because at that point, the creation is no longer in the hands of the people who started it. And nowadays, you see these types of things happen more and more often. However, that's getting a bit beside the point, and perhaps a discussion of creators versus companies is worth visiting another day in depth. So, let me loop back to Final Space and talk about what Olin Rogers is up to currently. He's definitely doing his best to bounce back, and still saying he won't give up fighting for the characters in the world that he's created just yet. Over the summer this year, Rogers launched a new Kickstarter project for a new animated sci-fi short called Godspeed followed by a mini-series documenting its full production life cycle with the intention of creating something new. The project had a goal of $80,000 to reach, and not only was the project fully funded within two hours, the campaign had completed with nearly half a million dollars and over 3,000 backers. And now, Rogers has created a new site for the project to allow people to continue to donate as he provides regular updates regarding the upcoming project due later next year. As a result of this, I actually had the privilege to speak with him over Zoom as a backer reward, and it was fantastic to talk with him and hear his excitement for the new animated pilot. And while he said he it can't be directly linked to Final Space or stylistically look like it, due to the copyright held by Warner Brothers, he's still hoping to have a bit of a wink to the larger world that he created. So, while I find the erasure of his final space to be incredibly tragic, I'm honestly rather moved to see this level of motivation and dedication from a creator to get back into storytelling, on a path to take back what's theirs. It's why I donated to the project myself, and I wanted to express my support for it. Although this is a shorter video than I usually make, I wanted to put it up for a few reasons. I wanted to provide an update on a prior subject I spoke about not too long ago, on a video that did decently well by my own YouTube standards, and I wanted to provide an alternative way for people to support the creator, as now it seems like taking the high seas is the only way to access Final Space content nowadays, and it's the only way to prevent it from becoming lost media. At the end of the day, this is also why I strongly suggest people who are passionate about created works to not shy away from collecting physical media of franchises you enjoy, because you never really know when something else could be inevitably lost as a result of corporate decisions or if companies try to start removing and modifying digital content. If you're willing to support the production of Godspeed, I'll have a link to the website in the description below where all the backer goals from the Kickstarter are still available for purchase, including personal one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions like I had the opportunity to partake in. Unless, you know, you're watching this in the future where the pilot has already made it out, in which case I'm sorry, but you're probably too late to back on that one. Otherwise, as always, if you're new to the channel, it'd mean a lot to me if you could consider sharing the video or subscribing to help the channel grow, but if you're a returning subscriber, then I'm thrilled to have you back. There's a lot more to come in the next few weeks, so be sure to stay tuned on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I get to see you next time.